Look at her, she's spitting nerdy. Look at her, she's spitting nerdy. Can't you see she's spitting nerdy? Look at her, she's spitting nerdy. Good morning, friends. Yesterday was my birthday. I turned 24, and as a little birthday present to myself, I decided to give myself a detox day. So today, I'm, I'm, I'm detoxing. But Marissa, you've always said that detoxes are super dumb and a waste of money and time. Why are you doing this? Well, that's because most conventional detoxes that you have to purchase are a waste of time and money and insanely ineffective like juice cleanses. Do not waste your time with the juice cleanse in 2019. If you're healthy and your body is functioning well, you probably don't need to detox. I probably don't need to do this either. It just so happens that the things that I wanted to do to detox are also things that I just generally enjoy doing, are very relaxing, and are gonna make my day pretty awesome. Your body has a ton of different ways that it detoxes, i.e. filters out environmental toxins that end up in your body. It does this with your liver, your lymph system, your kidneys, and basically almost any organ helps filter things out and prevent your body from absorbing the bad toxins that you're exposed to. And we're exposed to a lot of toxins on a daily basis. We get them mostly through our air, through our water. There are, if you're drinking tap water, I got bad news for you, my friend. I was a tap water drinker until literally a month ago, maybe. And um, it's, it's, is bad news bears um, and also just through touching things there are toxins everywhere this isn't to scare you again if you're perfectly healthy you're fine but it also doesn't hurt to do things regularly that promote and improve your body's own detoxification system so right now I'm about to go do one of probably the best things you can do to help your body detoxify itself and guess what that is I'm dressed for the gym exercise we're, we're gonna go live. Exercise helps the systems of your body function better. The better the systems of your body are functioning, the more effectively it can flush out any toxins that are not good for you. If you wanna do a 2019 detox to cleanse your body, I recommend starting with exercising regularly. That's gonna be what's going to help you the most. Not a juice cleanse, not uh, the master cleanse, not any other gimmicky cleanse that doesn't actually do anything. So without further ado, let's go lift. So I'm actually gonna go do a slightly modified version of workout number 10 from my ebook, Project Comeback, and I have my filtered water with me. I'll show you the water filter that I've been using later, um, but water is super important to help your body function properly, help it detox all of the toxins that you are exposed to, because one of the main ways that you flush out toxins is through peeing. And so you need enough water so that you pee enough. You don't need to drown yourself in water. I cannot emphasize this enough. You don't need to be constantly drinking gallons of water, but drinking enough water is important. But alas, I am actually running extraordinarily late. So let's get to the gym. short workout but that's okay because something is better than nothing and now I'm just gonna have a little bite to eat when I'm detoxing on my detox day I'm just focusing on eating whole unprocessed foods that are healthy and nutrient dense I'm not like taking things that are going to do weird things to my body just clean foods that's all you need. So last night I just made a chia seed pudding. So this has chia seeds, almond milk, some ground up flax seeds, and then it's a vanilla chai. So I just add a little bit of vanilla. I also put some collagen in there to help support my gut health. Uh, cinnamon, cardamom, and cloves for spice. And then I also added a little bit of turkey tail, which is an adaptogen that helps the immune system as well as helps your gut. So generally just all around healthy, clean foods. And then I topped it with a little bit of uh, coconut cult yogurt, which is more of a probiotic supplement than actual yogurt so it's a lot of good probiotics in here for my gut and then I'm gonna have a little kombucha on the side because you guys know how much I love kombucha also it's a probiotic so it's good 
for your gut. And then as soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna head off to a little spa place. I'm gonna get a 30 minute infrared sauna session as well as a one hour deep tissue massage. And I will talk about the benefits of those afterwards because I am very short on time and we gotta go. Nah. <laughs> now that massage was pretty darn good. I chose to incorporate both massage and sauna into my ultimate detox day because both of them are great ways to help remove toxins from the body. The research on massage is not super conclusive. Um, it's really hard to study the mechanisms by which it could potentially remove toxins from the body. So there's a lot of people on the internet that shout about how it doesn't actually do that because there isn't a ton of research to back it up, but there's also not a ton of research to suggest that it can't because again, it's really hard to study the mechanisms. The theory behind massage helping eliminate toxins is that a lot of toxins can build up in the lymph, the connective tissues, and the joints. And so massage can, in theory, help release some of these toxins by physical manipulation as well as heating up the body. And then it can also improve circulation of the lymph system, which as I said before, is one of the main detox systems that the body naturally uses. And then it can improve blood flow to both the liver and the kidneys, which again are both organs that help remove toxins from the body. So essentially it helps release toxins and it also helps the systems of the body that naturally detox the body function better. In theory though, this is all stuff that exercise itself can accomplish, which again is why the number one thing that I recommend if you want to detox your body is exercise. But even if this is all fake news and they somehow are able to study it and conclusively prove that massage doesn't do any of this, it's still a nice thing to do. Like it's, it still feels good and you feel relaxed afterwards. So there's no harm in getting a massage. And then as far as the sauna goes, there is a ton of research to back up the numerous benefits of sauna. One of these benefits is the detoxification process. One day, I promise you guys, I will go in depth into all the different benefits of the sauna, but that's just, that's a huge research project. So we're saving that for another day. But as far as the detox process goes, there was a 2012 study that showed that sauna use can help remove lead, can arsenic and mercury especially in people that have like heavy metal poisoning um, but hopefully none of you have heavy metal poisoning and if you do go to the doctor don't just sit in a sauna and then studies have also shown that sauna use can help flush out BPA from your system BPA is a compound found in so many different products that we use it can be found in basically anything with plastic and if it says BPA free it usually has the sister compound BPS which is just as bad. It can also be found in receipts, in DVDs, in a lot of different things. And BPA can drastically disrupt the hormone balance in your body, so not using anything with BPA slash regular sauna use to help eliminate BPA, good idea. So I'm gonna go shower in a minute to just wash off all of the massage oil so that my skin doesn't freak out. Um, but in the meantime, I'm drinking this entire thing of water. I filled it up with filtered water and half of a lemon, just cause lemon's yummy. And I said it would talk about my water filter, so I figured now's a good time. This is the water filter that I am using. No, it is not some giant fancy coffee pot. This is a Berkey water filter. Up until not too long ago, I was perfectly happy drinking tap water and that's basically all that I drank. I was kind of intentionally not looking into it because I didn't want to have to invest a lot of money in a water filter or make drinking water any more complicated than it has to be because I already don't drink enough water as it is. And I was like, I just need to make this as easy as possible. But then, then I confronted, confronted the tap water issue. And I discovered that tap water, at least in the US, can have traces of heavy metals, chlorine, fluoride, little bits of pesticides, and also prescription drugs. Like you could be drinking birth control in the tap water. And I was like, you know what? Fine, it's time to invest in a water filter that's gonna filter all of this out. So the Berkey water filter is probably the best, most often recommended water filter that isn't one that you have to physically install in your house. And so I put the Berkey water filter on my Christmas wish list. I am well aware that this is the bougiest health 
tool that I now own. Thankfully, it was a Christmas present, so I didn't have to buy it for myself. Thank you, mommy and daddy, I love you. But honestly, my plan was that if I didn't get it for Christmas, I was gonna get it for myself because this is something that I have realized is extremely important. For those people who happily throw down $250 on a seven day juice cleanse or whatever, juice cleanses are really freaking expensive. I highly recommend taking that money and getting a really good water filter instead so that you don't even have to cleanse because you're not putting all those things in your body in the first place. And don't even get me started on bottled water. My next detox step slash tip is a fun one. I'm gonna be doing a little face mask for my skin and I do recommend that if you want to detox, you also detox from skin products. I recommend using the bare minimum when it comes to skin products if you're going through a day of general detoxing. As you may have been able to tell, I've had no makeup on all day today. I used a body oil after I showered and I used a face oil that I'm gonna use again after I wash my face and face mask it. And other than the soap that I used when I was in the shower, which was a very clean ingredient soap, that's all that I've put on my skin today. So many skin products are chock full of synthetic chemicals that are really not optimal for our bodies. So just avoiding that in general is probably a good idea. But for now, what I am using is first and foremost, this face cleanser from Holistic Science. I got this as a Christmas present. Actually, I got all of this as a Christmas present because I asked for clean beauty products for Christmas. So I'm gonna use this to just gently clean my face and then this is the face mask that I'm gonna use and oh my goodness. Let me tell you about this face mask. It is magical. It should be because of the price, but it is magical. When I use this, my skin just feels like new skin and that's really hard to do for my skin. Like. My skin hates me. So the reason I'm using this on detox day is because of all of the different clays. It has bentonite clay, um, kaolin clay, rasul clay, and a few others. They're all really good at drawing out impurities and toxins that are in your skin. It's not gonna be obviously a full body detox, but it will help detoxify the skin that you put it on. And then once it's time to take the mask off, I'm gonna wash my face and then put this little oil on, also from Holistic Science. It just makes my skin feel so refreshed and amazing. So let me sing for you, like the birds in the mountains do, like a child who cries for you, cries for you. So let me sing for you, about the streets and the avenues. There's nothing I'd rather do, rather do, 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 do. Ta-da, face mask complete. Time to let it do its thing and detox my skin. I just made some lemon ginger tea and this is not at all part of any sort of detox protocol that I am following. However, I figured I would share it with you because a lot of people look into detoxes in order to fix digestive issues and this can potentially really help with your digestion. I've been obsessed with this tea since I went home for Christmas. I start with about this much water, so it's like two-ish cups of water. Then I usually do like a thumb to a thumb and a half of ginger with the juice of half of a lemon and then I've been adding an immunity tea that I actually got from the farmer's market from Zen's Tea House but it's basically just a tea that's designed to support the immune system. You can use whatever tea you want in there to change the flavor and then also some Manuka honey. So I'll just boil the water, chop up the ginger, throw that in, juice the lemon in there, let that cook for about five minutes and then I'll add the tea and let that cook for another cook, boil, steam, mm. Steep, that's the word, let <laughs> it steep for another five minutes and then I'll add the honey, take it out and we have our tea. Ginger, lemon, and manuka honey are all really good at helping with digestion. So if you're having any digestive issues, this tea might be perfect for you. Additionally, ginger is also anti-inflammatory and an antioxidant and manuka honey can also help reduce inflammation and it's antiviral. So if you're getting sick, it's helpful for that. So this is definitely not a detox tea, but it is a tea that I really enjoy drinking and makes me feel good and makes my body happy. So I'm drinking it. Speaking of detox teas, I highly recommend not using those. They don't detox your body. They just make you poop out everything that's in your body. That's not a detox, that's just poop. Yes, excreting food waste is necessary to eliminate toxins, but if you haven't done anything to promote enhanced toxin release into the waste, then just pooping out all the waste doesn't help with the toxins. So in short, tea toxins, big no. Ginger lemon tea, big yes. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish this tea and then get ready for bed because my last detox tip that is perhaps the second most important detox tip because I would say the first one is exercise but the second one is sleep is so important. The main mechanism that removes toxins from your brain is most active 
while you're asleep. So sleep is super important for toxin removal from your brain, which is super important for keeping your brain healthy and helping prevent developing neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. Also, making sure to get enough sleep just keeps your body healthier, which keeps all of your other toxin removal systems in your body functioning better. So just make sure you prioritize sleep if you want your body to be able to remove toxins as efficiently as possible. So those are all the detox strategies that I am employing today in an effort to help my body cleanse itself a little bit and just generally give myself a nice relaxing day. There is one more strategy that I do think is great but not something that I included today and that is prolonged fasting. If you know that you're comfortable with it, you have a good enough relationship with health, etc. Doing a three-day fast results in the majority of the cells that are in your body that are damaged, malfunctioning, not working properly, etc. getting literally eaten up by your body. And when you come out of a fast, you end up with a lot of regenerated cells. And so you're kind of cleansing or detoxing your body of damaged cells. I literally just did a three-day fast like two weeks ago, so it's definitely too soon to do another one. So just didn't worry about that today. But if it is something that you want to look into, I will link all of my videos about that down in the description. You can learn more, check it out, make sure you're doing it in a safe way. And that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something from it. And I hope that if you want to do a little detox to cleanse your body, you now have some smarter, safer, more effective strategies to do so rather than doing a juice cleanse or a detox, please, don't do juice cleanses or detox. Leave a little comment down below. Let me know what you think. In the meantime, please give this video a big thumbs up because it really does support me and my channel and I really do appreciate it. Please share this video with your friends and your family and your neighbors. Subscribe for more videos. Hit the notification button so you don't miss those videos and I will see you very soon. Bye.